Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So I apologize for not posting for a while, I've had some personal stuff come up and it's just been really hard to find the energy and the motivation to hop on here and make a quick video. So um, I've not had a lot of time recently to show you guys some of my more intricate designs and ones that have a lot of detail in them, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you guys a really simple way to create um, plaid. It's the plaid that I use most often um, in my dresses. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys kind of the, the base way that you start out with it. So you're going to choose three colors. So let's take a green. Uh, let's go, let's actually, for this, let's go over to uh, this color right here. Uh, or let's actually just go over to red. That'll be easier to talk about. So you're going to choose a vividness. It doesn't really matter what your vividness is, but you're going to want each of your three colors to be the exact same vividness. And then um, from there, you're going to want them all to be around the same brightness when you're first starting out. So you're going to have a lighter one, one that is one darker, and then one darker than that. So you can see how the brightness here is on 15. And then this one's 14 and that one is um, 13. So if we're going to start out with the lightest color that you've chosen. And let's just, like, let's say you're creating a skirt. Let's just uh, fill this in right here. So now you have this. So you're going to take the color that is one uh, brightness darker than what you just used. And you're going to kind of create this pattern right here. And you're just going to do this all the way across. Another way you can do it is you can just skip one pixel and place one, like every other pixel, just place a dot uh, with this lighter or darker color. And then you're going to do the same one row higher. And then you're going to continue that um, an extra row. And you're pretty much just going to do this on the entire area that you want the plaid design to be in. Um, if you're just doing like a skirt or a shirt part with this, then that's the only spot that you would fill it. Oops. That you would, um, put that in. So, the next thing that you're going to do from here, um, you're going to take this darker color here. And every other line, you're going to put one in right there. Like so. And then from those lines, you're going to go up and place one like right there. I forgot to do this on the other side. And there. And then um, you're going to go back again and just continue this pattern the entire way up the skirt so I will skip ahead and show you guys the finished product and here we are so this is the finished uh, plaid look uh, the reason why I'm having you guys start out with uh, colors that are the same hue, vividness, but just one brightness off is because from there it's actually um, really easy to change it like to make it to make certain colors pop a little bit more but um, this is kind of a good base because at this point none of the plaid designs are rounded and that's a problem a lot of people uh, have to deal with when they're trying to make a plaid is the plaid designs will kind of turn into like this weird rounded shape and it won't actually be a square so from here you're like if you're making a skirt or something then you take you can either take the darkest color that you were using and put it right at the top to create a waistband or you can take something like black and that will separate the skirt from the shirt and also if you're making a dress like I make um, you can always it always helps a lot to do the skirt first or there's bleh, <clears throat> pardon me it always helps a lot to do the skirt first because then you can just copy it bring it over to the back and then you don't have to worry about erasing the sh front shirt design from the back so this is what you have and that's like a really easy way to do a plaid design now if you want to let's say you want it to be a little bit darker than this okay let's just take the darkest color that we were using and let's make it 
too darker. See how it's still not um, rounding at all? You can constantly mess with it and you can get something like this and you can just keep on messing with those colors until they start to be rounded and it helps. it's a really good base to create the color that you're wanting. And like now we have this. And so yeah, that is my quick and like my most used plaid, plaid designs and most of my dresses. Um, I hope this guy, I hope this video helped you guys a lot. Uh, please let me know what else you're wanting to see in the comment section. I'm hoping to get started again with making videos a lot more frequently in the future. Um, boys, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye.